Hello guys welcome to Datafuse Analytics In this session we will see what exactly is hugging face and most importantly why hugging face is widely used This video is a continuation to the previous video titled a journey of transformers There we covered how the concept of transformer started then we saw traditional sequence to sequence based architectures like recurrent neural networks or rnn as well as lstms or long short term memory networks with the help of an rnn pair we also designed encoder decoder framework and its limitation with respect to parallel processing and information bottleneck finally we saw the overview of attention mechanism to compute the weights of multiple hidden states if you have not seen the previous video i will put the link in description now let's get started with the current session If we have to implement a novel machine learning architecture the following standard steps needs to be followed The first step is designing and implementation of entire model architecture Now you can design it by taking any deep learning framework like Pytorch or TensorFlow or Theano or Keras or even scikit-learn Then we have to preprocess the inputs with respect to the problem statement that we are solving then we define data loaders loss functions optimizers and other hyperparameters to train the model once the model is trained inference or predictions on the test data is carried on on the trained model after that on the predictions task specific post processing is applied to enhance accuracy or the evaluation metric that we are using for that particular problem statement then what's the issue in this each of these steps which is described in the previous slide requires custom logic for each model and for particular task traditionally when research groups publish a new article they will also release the code along with the model weights However this code is rarely standardized and often requires days of engineering to adapt to new use cases or new problem statements the solution is using hugging face transformers this is where hugging face transformers comes to nlp practitioners rescue it offers a common standardized interface to a large variety of transformer models together with the code and tools necessary to modify these models for application in different scenarios or in new scenarios you may quickly switch between three main deep learning frameworks supported by this hugging face library such as pytorch tensorflow and jax furthermore it has task specific heads that make it quite simple to adjust transformers for different downstream tasks like let's say text classification name identity recognition question answering etc this cuts the week long training and testing of a few models by practitioner down to only one day this is the hugging face ecosystem now what started with hugging face transformers has quickly grown into a whole entire ecosystem consisting of many libraries and tools to accelerate your nlp and machine learning projects the hub and the family of libraries make up the majority of hugging face ecosystems as we can see in this figure the libraries supply the code and the hub offers pre-trained model weights data sets as well as scripts for the evaluation metrics and many more operations can be done now let's look in depth in each of the component The Hugging Face Hub hosts over twenty thousand freely available models. Just imagine. Now, in order to navigate the hub and locate interesting candidates fast and quick, there are different filters for projects, frameworks, datasets, and many more. The pipelines have shown us that it only takes one line of code to load a promising model into your program. This makes testing a variety of models. simple and enables you to concentrate on project domain specific components 
Now the hub provides data sets and scripts for computing metrics in addition to model weights, allowing you to replicate the published results or use additional data for your application. Additionally, this hub it offers model and data set cards that list the details of the models and data sets so that you can decide it for yourself if they are the best fit for your needs or for your problem statement that you are solving. One of the nicest aspects of the hub is that you can instantly test out any model using the many interactive widgets for various tasks. Now let's see what all different Hugging Face components are available. First is the Hugging Face tokenizers. It offers a wide variety of tokenization techniques thanks to its Rust backend. It tokenizes text incredibly fast and quick. Additionally, it handles all the pre-processing and post-processing tasks including let's say normalizing the inputs and formatting or transforming the model outputs according to the tasks which you are solving. We can load a tokenizer using Hugging Face Transformer in the same manner that Hugging Face Transformers can load the pre-trained model weights. Now let's look at Hugging Face datasets which is in charge of that element as we require a dataset and metrics to train and evaluate models. Dataset loading, processing and storage can be a painstaking process, especially when the datasets grow in size and they are too big for the RAM in your laptop or in your machine. Additionally, you typically need to use a number of scripts to retrieve the data and format it according to industry standards. Here comes the Hugging Face Datasets. Hugging Face Datasets streamlines this entire procedure by giving the hub thousands of datasets a uniform user interface or UI by utilizing a unique technique called memory mapping which stores the file contents in a virtual memory and enables multiple processes to modify a file more effectively. It also offers smart caching so you don't have to redo your pre-processing each time you run your code and it also avoids RAM restrictions. Additionally, the library is also compatible with well-known frameworks like Pandas and NumPy allowing you to stay in the comfort of your preferred data wrangling applications. Hugging Face datasets helps make the experiment more reproducible and the results more trustworthy. If you ever had to create your own PyTorch training script, it's likely that you had some difficulties trying to migrate the code from your laptop to the cluster at your company. Accelerate adds a layer of abstraction to your usual training loops that takes care of all the specialized code necessary for training infrastructure. This actually quickens your productivity by making it simpler to switch out infrastructure as necessary. This sums up the entire Hugging Face ecosystem or open source ecosystem. In the next sessions, we will be seeing what major challenges are there when we deal with transformers. We will see the tour of all the transformer applications using Hugging Face library. Then we will see the implementation of each application in depth and with respect to entire use case problem solving. So till that, if you like this video, please like and comment. Thank you.